So good morning everyone, welcome to A Brilliant Businesses podcast. My name is Nick Bryant and I'm very pleased to be joined this morning by Fiona Russell from McQueen Hair and Beauty. Morning, good morning Fiona. Nick. How are you? Very well, how are you? Very well, thank you. Thank you, thanks for coming in. Thanks for seeing you. So a little bit about McQueen Hair and Beauty. They're a leading hair and beauty salon um, based in the heart of Tunbridge Wells and also in Orpington. The exciting news is that they've moved recently from their premises on the salon in Calverley Road into Fenwick's department store, which I think is an excellent move. Um, we've spoken previously um, to Fiona, and she's told us her story about how that was sort of part of her past. So but I'm going to ask you why you've moved into Fenix and, and um, tell us a little bit about the thought process behind that. Okay, thank you, Nick. I... McQueen Hair and Beauty was established in July 2009 and our first salon was in Calverley Road. We operated a full hair and beauty salon and progressively we were growing as a business and mm. we were just realising that the salon had to grow outside new premises. Mm. We were just exceeding our space within the shop. Um, so that's a really positive, successful um, story on our part. So I've been looking at other premises uh, because my goal was to stay within half a mile of the original shop in yeah. Cavalry Road. So I looked at various sites, various shops that were empty in Cavalry Road um, and local surrounding roads. Yeah. Um, and one thing that kept coming back to me was there's no improvement really for the business where I want to go within the next five years. Okay. I visually could not see myself or the business in another premises um, within a shop on its own, yeah. standalone shop. Yeah. So anyway, I was racking my brain, racking my brain. Also, it's really expensive right now yeah. um, to rent, right. yeah. to insure your utilities. All your operating costs are just... It's well, for all businesses, um, independently, the independent businesses, it's, yeah, it's really tough yeah. and it eats your bottom line. Yeah. So I thought, what can I do? What can I do? Think outside the box. Think outside the box. Mm. Anyway, this went on and on. And, you know, I'm a great believer in the subconscious mind. And anyway, I woke up one morning and it came to me. Was it like a light bulb moment? Yeah, yeah for awesome. sure. Yeah, yeah. And it was Fennec. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I'm following that instinct. <laughs> yeah. So I went into the store I and I just cold called. I just went up to um, one of the floor managers and asked about the store manager. He wasn't present um, at the time. So I asked his name and I said, okay, great. So I went away, did some research, went on LinkedIn, yeah. and I approached him directly that route. Yeah. We had a meeting. The first meeting was really positive, and I knew straight away um, where I saw my business yeah. and the salon within Fennec. Yeah. So effectively, I was asking, can I rent some room in your shop, please? Yeah. And I have a business to bring to your business uh, and we can both benefit from that. Mm. My business is about people coming to the environment, sitting down and spending time. Um, and I'm sure as a retail outlet, that's what you particularly want at this moment in time. So our needs were very much the same. Yeah. And I already have a business established. So footfall was already something that I would bring to the store. Yeah. And it went back and forth. We went from there and back. And then I had a break in my lease, um, which came up this year, which was in the summer. And I had to give notice by June. Right. There was a six-month break. Um, yeah. So I just executed it, even though I didn't sign the deal then with Fennec. So I took a risk. Yeah, that's a big risk. But I knew it was the right risk. Yeah. And if I missed my deadline with the lease, then I was tied in for another five years. Oh, right. Yeah. So yeah. I had to bite the bullet. And I did it, and we did sign with Fennec eventually um, in July, I August see. time. So yeah. it all fell into place, mm, um, and it was meant to be, for mm, sure. Because mm. when we spoke last time, which I think was around about this time last yes. year, or maybe towards the summer last year, yes. you, tell, you told me you had some news, but yes. you couldn't tell me. Yes, right. So you already knew that that was going to happen then, yes. didn't you? Yes, but because yeah. of the legality and everything, I didn't want to run before of I could course. walk. Yeah. But yeah. I knew it was all bubbling up. Um, yeah. So it was a perfect partnership. So we took over a fantastic site, yeah. um, which is prime space yes, is. in a store environment. 
Um, you cracked I, it. You literally <laughs> cracked it, didn't you? Because uh, the space is awesome. Yeah, yeah, and I'm delighted with our location. Mm. Um, it was a shoe department, and my objective in my mind was I have to do everything within a budget but must not look like a shoe department. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we had back-and-forth meetings. Um, I'm a small independent business, mm. so my budget was quite tight, but I knew that I had to jump and do this. Yeah. So, yeah, off we went and I spoke with the shop fitters, with the store people and we went back and forth and yeah, um, it yeah. all fell into place. Yeah, well, I came to the open evening and um, it's, it's, it's a big space you've got at the back of the store there. Well, not the back of the store, but in the prominent part where the shoes were. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think some of the things that people don't realise, you know, what's good about it is just things like parking. Yeah. Because parking you didn't have before, did you? You can't right. park on Calvary Road. That's right. But you've got RVP, Royal Victoria Place, you've got all that parking. That's right. Um, and you're bringing people in there, but it is a big space. It but is a big space. So the great thing about that, within five years, as a business grows, I can add more working units. Yeah. Um, so I can add another bat wash. I can add another yes. work styling unit. I can grow as the business demands are. Mm. So for me, that's amazing because I don't want to be in that same situation where we're at growing the space. Yeah. So yes. five-year plan is that we will grow and maximise the space. Um, the perfect location in terms of, yeah, as you quite rightly said, you can park the car in Royal Victoria Place, walk down the escalator or the lift mm. and walk straight into Fenwick mm. whether the weather is rain sun whatever yeah. your hair will not be messed up yeah. and um, you have so much ex- access to everything within a s- one roof mm. effectively um, we do the makeup we can do you can choose your outfit your shoes yes. and you're ready to go yeah. <laughs> so that was the idea you know mm. you're very pressured for time or you just want to have something that's convenient well I think we hit all the boxes yeah. on that one yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the location ultimately was the the best thing because mm. we're in a prime space in the heart of Tunbridge Wells, within the shopping environment. Yeah. And it's, and it's a big benefit for Fennec as well, isn't it? Because you're yes. bringing people into the shop. Yes. More, I would have thought, a lot more people that would have gone to look at that shoe department, I think. I agree. Um, totally. So they, they, they've won out of it as well. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, and the yeah. shoes now are on the first floor with fashions. Yeah. So they complement their environment. Yeah. Um, yeah. For us, we complement beauty, cosmetics... So we're in the perfect environment. Yeah. Um, and I love, I love the store. I love the management, the team, the staff. They're amazing people to work with. Um, I like the fact that they're very pro-independent businesses. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, you know, Fenwick's been established many years. Mm. It's a family business, mm. which is quite unique in today's world. Yeah. In department stores, anyway. Yeah. And I just love the feel. They've made us feel very welcome. We have a business plan that... You know, I'm very aware that we're going to develop and exceed, and we're going to enhance the client experience when they walk through the store. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. Let's can we just talk a bit about the services and treatments you offer? Absolutely. So yeah. people, so then people can come in there and use you. Yeah. So from a perspective, we're unisex. That's the very yeah. first important thing I want to say. We look after men and women. Yeah. Um, we offer full hairdressing services, so precision hair cutting. You know couture colour we tailor that to the client's needs private consultations uh, we do keratin smoothing blow dries children haircuts we do um, styling big bouncy blow dries balayage <laughs> colour techniques we also do ear piercing okay. and we provide makeup services so if you're going to a party wedding or special event we can do all your hair your makeup and yeah you're pretty much ready to go oh, yeah what don't you do basically <laughs> yeah exactly exactly <laughs> and you've got um simon simon butler who's um your salon manager he's been with you a long time um and he's built up a real good following in the area of people that have to go back to him yeah so he what's his background where did he come from <laughs> he his background size um his first big break was he did international um where he was on the cruises Oh, yeah. um, and he spent two years on the cruises. Um, primarily, he did international, so he did the whole world. Right. Um, and it was an American clientele. Okay. So they're pretty demanding. Yes. But he, he exceeded all expectations. He worked for a company called Steiner, which was a hairdressing company mm. within the ships. Um, and he loved it. He had a great time. But it also excelled his skills. 
Um, and he was able to divert from, you know, from working seven days a week, yeah. long shifts, yeah. to just being already and available within 10 minutes, um, right. should a customer wanted their hair doing whatever. Um, and then from there, he went into London. I met him over 20 years ago. In, we worked together in central London. Um, I was his manager at the time. Yeah. And um, we worked together. And immediately when I first employed him, I knew straight away he had something different yeah. uh, to offer. Yeah. And his strength is he's so passionate about his work. Mm eats, breathes, loves his work, yeah. um, excellent hairdresser, and very, very successful. Clients love him. He's very easy to get on with. He's a real people's person, isn't he? Very it? much so. Yeah. He yeah. loves to talk and mm. understand people and make them feel good. That's yeah. his real key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's really interesting is he can adapt himself to all ages. Okay. Um, yeah. But he's very warm, very friendly, and he makes people feel fantastic and feel welcome yeah very much so one thing that Sai got recently was it, is it did he win an award of some sort uh size actually this is year two he's um he's earned an amazing award which is called fab okay. service stars which is p-h-a-b and it's an industry recognition of his um service commitment to service okay. his performance yeah. so it's an equivalent to a michelin star wow, within the hair and beauty industry okay. so he's earned that and he wears that with pride and it's really something quite unique yeah. um it's something that's a national uh, service star um, but it's also something where not many people there's a lot of mediocre out there yeah, yeah. but he excels in his field okay so it's recognizing excellence in his standards yeah. um, of work and his commitment and his performance within the industry so yeah he's um, Good for him. so is that voted by um, some industry bodies or it's not voted by the people or? it's actually a measured tool that he goes through a criteria within the fab okay um, process and what they do is look at everything so his customer testimonials yeah. his performance in terms of his consistency within his work okay. um, the numbers the KPI yeah. numbers yeah. and also his general interview of what makes him different to any other hairdresser okay um, and that's what he's recognized for his excellence so Amazing. above average that's what we like yeah we like that yeah well done si. so well it's done. an extraordinary character and yeah. he creates extraordinary work um, and we love him to be recognized for that has a lot of your team come across from calvary You're all my team all of yeah. yeah i've okay. come across um so we have a team of eight yeah. and we open seven days a week um, Monday to Sunday, store trading hours. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we have a full service. We, you know, clients can book online, they can come in person okay. um, or call us. We're very easy to be uh, contacted. Excellent. Yeah, because I think, um, I mean, I'm sure you've got the word out, but um, there's probably people still unaware that you're, that you're in there. Yeah. Um, so hopefully this will help. So yeah. anyone, you know, go and visit and see what it's like in there because it's such a lovely space. Yeah. Um, and um, I encourage people to do that. Um, so as far as the future goes, Fiona, you're just going to tr keep working with, with what you've got here and grow into that space. Any plans to go into any other department of stores? Or? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> um, I'm very excited that I'm, you know, I can, from a, a thought becomes a reality for me is very exciting. That's very creative. I like that. Um, yeah. And I love the fact that I, I have something in my mind and then it's here, yeah. you know, it's tangible. Yeah. So, I really enjoy doing things like that. So yeah. who knows? I'm very open. <laughs> and Depends what else goes in your mind, doesn't absolutely, it? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think also we're a success story, you know, despite the economic issues um, in our country at the moment. Mm. Um, as an independent local business, yeah, we're growing, we're thriving, yeah. and we create our own economy. Mm. Mm. Um, and I think that's very important in today's world um to have that kind of mindset and yeah we all um have obstacles to get over mm -hmm. um but you've got to keep going and you've got to give it 200 yeah. percent. you said to me once about um when the waves come you just got to ride the waves absolutely the tidal waves the tidal waves that's it yeah some are big, some are small. absolutely all yeah. businesses will face that um mm -hmm. but you know it's having nerves of steel and i think we've all as a as a society of come through quite a few things over mm. the last five years in terms of pandemic and lockdowns and Brexit. now we've Brexit yeah. and we've also now got this cost of living crisis mm. so yeah we're all riding this tidal wave yeah you just gotta have a be, 
fight your way through it haven't you and, yeah, uh, and, and not and, and we spoke about this before as well not listen to the media too much because they do put a downer on it uh trying to say that people aren't spending money but people have got money to spend haven't they i think yeah. they just give us a very narrow um perspective on things and they never really praise about the success stories right now yeah you never hear success no, you stories don't, do you? no it's always bad news yeah so yeah. for me i'm a great believer that we can work we can help we can grow yeah um and i encourage people to think the same because unfortunately we are we are knocked down by so many obstacles yeah, um, yeah. but we pick ourselves up and we grow and we you know what there is a silver lining yeah. and i believe everything is temporary yes. doesn't last forever that's right um, yeah. it's important to remember that isn't it indeed mm. and i think we can all um you know look after ourselves but also that will have an impact within our working environment and our colleagues and our business mm. um but yes definitely got to thrive in the economy yes that's excellent yeah well thanks fiona thanks for coming in it's great to see you again and great to talk to you and congratulations thank you it's such a good move thank you and please anyone listening if you've not been down to phoenix to see mcqueen hair and beauty go in there because it's such a lovely space and get your hair cut i guess yeah absolutely <laughs> all fiona's details are underneath the podcast here and details are on the website so um thank you and we'll see you for another podcast soon thank you thank you for having me 